Okay, oras na para pag-usapan natin si Caitlin Clark dito sa channel. As of recording this video, through 10 games, si Caitlin Clark ay nag-average ng 16.9 points, 5.4 rebounds, and 6.5 assists per game. Percentages hindi ideal, pero we also have to remember na rookie nga si Caitlin Clark. Talent is definitely there, pero there's going to be some adjustment to do. Of course, that's normal. And as a guard sa liga, iba talaga yung jump from college to pros. Kasi iba yung laro sa pros eh. It's tougher, it's faster. Yung mga players na makakalaban mo, mas experienced sa'yo. So, isa sa mga pinaka-importanting part ng laro ng isang guardia sa basketball ay ang pick and roll. So, sa video na to, pag-uusapan natin kung paano nina navigate ni Caitlin Clark yung pick and rolls. Whether magaling siya sa isang bagay, weakness niya isang bagay. So, pag-uusapan natin. First of all, napansin ko si Caitlin Clark, magaling siyang umatake ng switches. So, play na to, makikita natin, there's going to be a ball screen na ginost nung kakampi niya para magkaroon ng two defenders on the ball kay Caitlin Clark. Kasi nga kung si Caitlin Clark ka, naturally you're going to draw defenders. So sa play na to, dahil nagdala ng defender, yung teammate ni Clark, so there's going to be two on the ball. And kapag nag-flare to dito, there's going to be an advantage. Kasi dalawa na yung fever players against one. So yun yung advantages of having someone like Caitlin Clark na grabe mag-demand ng attention. O sa play na to, okay, two on the ball, Okay, two fever players dito versus one. Okay, so on a bigger picture, two versus three ngayon to. Just because nagkaroon ng extra defender si Caitlin Clark. So ngayon, nag-show, nag-switch. Now, late ngayon, itong player na to, to step up. Medyo binigyan niya ng space si Caitlin Clark. Kung may kita natin dito again, usually kapag switch to, dapat aggressive ka If a force mo yung ball handler na i-turn yung corner. You don't want the ball handler, especially a player like Caitlin Clark, na magkaroon ng free lane or free moment para mag-probe siya ng floor na nandito ka lang sa level. So, makikita natin dito, again, nag-hesitate pa nga yung defender. Hindi siya ganong nag-step up. Ngayon, late na siya sa contest. Caitlin Clark with a pull-up 3 against the switch. Again, dito. Okay? Stack. May ball screen. And then ito, i-attract niya ngayon yung defender para umalis. So now, nag-switch yung big man kay Caitlin Clark. May advantage si Caitlin Clark ngayon dito. And now, dahil ito, umalis siya sa picture and nakasunod to rito, in niya yung help. Now, merong lane si Caitlin Clark to blow by her defender na galing sa switch. And again, yung switch, kung makikita natin, hindi ulit nag-step up yung switch. Okay? Andito lang sila sa area na to. Which is a no-no. Especially against a player like Caitlin Clark. Kasi, kung si Caitlin Clark, Let's say, after nung ball screen, dito, nag-decide siya na mag-pull up. Open 3 yan. Pero at the same time, if nag-decide si Caitlin Clark na dumrive, kaya niya kasi ang layo eh. Hindi naka-pressure eh. So kung makikita natin, hesitation dribble, blow by 2 points. So again, dito, hordes formation. There's going to be a ball screen. And then mag-flare dito just to bring an extra defender kay Caitlin Clark. Or force the switch. Makikita natin dito, they force the switch and again yung defender hindi nag step up nandito sa loob ng 3 point line which gave Caitlin Clark space para mag pull up sa 3 and again against the switch dito naman sa play na to it's going to be a ram action so ano yung ram action yung guardia magsaset ng down screen for the screener so basically screen the screener and then ito magsaset ng step up screen for Caitlin Clark to either force her defender na mag-drop or force the switch dito. Itong number 8. So, i-play natin. There's going to be a down screen. Screen the screener. And then, step up screen. So, now, tama yung ginawa ng number 8. Aggressive siya sa switch. Ganito magbantay ng switch. Ipupwersa mo yung ball handler na i-turn yung corner. Sa kaso na to, hindi na-turn ni Caitlin Clark yung corner kagad. Pero, ang galing ng ginawa ni Caitlin Clark dito, instead na ipilit niya yung angle, na i-turn yung corner, papunta rito sa kanan, nag-spin move siya, or umikot siya, nilipat niya yung kamay niya, para magpunta siya rito sa kabilang side. Which gave her a better look ng court. So ngayon, napansin niya, ah, okay, naiwan ko na yung defender ko, and then meron akong player dito, nakakampi sa ilalim, if ever mag-help tong tao na to, meron akong drop pass. If not, meron akong lane to the basket. Which is yun yung nangyari. So napag-usapan na natin na si Caitlin Clark magaling umatake ng switch. Pero I think yung isa sa part ng laro niya na kailangan pa ng improvement ay yung pag-atake niya against the blitz. Kasi I understand as a rookie, iba talaga kapag binlitz ka. 
hindi talaga instant yung nature sa yon nagawin yung tamang read kung makikita natin dito going to be a ball screen okay binlit siya two defenders so now there's two on the ball magda dive to to the basket there's going to be three versus two okay one two three versus two Seattle players so now ang tamang gagawin dito you probe with the ball and then you make plays out of the pass so now Tinurn ni Caitlin Clark yung corner. So ngayon, meron kang potential bounce pass papunta rito sa short roll. Na kapag ito, nag-rotate papunta rito, there's going to be 2 versus 1. Pero ang ginawa ni Caitlin Clark, nag-take pa siya ng isang extra dribble and nag-skip pa siya papunta sa weak side corner na yung skip pass niya medyo maere, medyo mahangin. And yan exactly yung gustong gawin sa'yo ng depensa na ipasa mo papunta sa weak side corner. Kasi by the time na makarating tong bola na to, papunta sa weak side corner, okay, itong defender na to, naka-recover na yan. Nakapag-play na ng lane yan. Either may steal na yan, or nandito na siya mismo sa binabantayan niya. Kasi that's the longer pass kaysa sa short roll. May kita natin, passing lane, steal, turnover. Ito naman again, to on the ball, binlits. Now, meron kang short roll dito. Yan yung tamang pasa kung hindi mo matuturn yung corner. Play natin ngayon. Tinry ni Caitlin Clark, i-turn yung corner. Again, meron kang pasa rito sa pop. 3 versus 2. Tingnan natin anong gagawin ni Caitlin Clark. Okay, magta-take siya ng extra dribble. So, ngayon, it's a 1v1. Aatakihin niya ngayon versus a crowded defense. Bad shot. So, sa play na to, again, magsa-set ng ball screen. 2 on the ball. Now, ito yung opportunity para ibigay mo kagad sa short roll. Kasi pag nabigay mo sa short roll, either skip pass, pocket pass papunta rito, mas mahirap eh. So, mas okay na skip pass mo kagad after no hang dribble. Ngayon, pag skip pass mo rito, magra-rotate to rito and there's going to be 2 versus 1. So, yun yung proper read. Pero, again, as a rookie, hindi mo kagad yan mananavigate agad-agad. Ginawa rito ni Caitlin Clark, naghihintay siya. And sa paghihintay niya, napa, lala yung sitwasyon niya sa trap. Now, Pati yung baseline and yung half court, naging extra defender na and ang pasa na lang na kaya niyang ibigay ay papunta rito na nilalaro na yung passing lane. Kaya nangyari, naging turnover. It's not easy to play against the blitz. Dito again, same play. Yung horns, magdadala ng extra defender. Karoon na miscommunication. Tama yung ginawa rito ni Caitlin Clark. Instead of hesitating, pagkakita niya, ah, okay, hindi nag-step up. So magagamit ako ng extra hang dribble to play with the defense. Derecho, concise. Hindi nag-hesitate. Compared dito, sa play na to, kung babalikan natin, after ng ball screen, na-trap siya, ayun na yung actual window to make a play. Pero nag-hesitate siya, hindi niya hagad binigay, which resulted into a turnover. And again, yung confidence niya mabubuo yun over time. So ayun, I think Caitlin Clark is going to be one of the GOATs in the future pagdating sa WNBA. And it's nice na yung media attention and yung attention in general na nage-generate niya sa women's basketball. It's nice.